welcome back everyone. Um, this is a continuation of chapter 6, Learning and Adaption. In the last lecture, then we learned about uh, types of reinforcement. In other words, uh, positive and negative reinforcement and positive and negative punishment. So now we're going to talk about uh, the schedules of reinforcement. So this is how often we reinforce or punish. Uh, this is how much, that kind of thing. So there's going to be a lot of terms here that you're going to need to know. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is whether a reinforcement, and now for this section, when we talk about reinforcement, that can either be uh, a positive or either a like a reinforcer or a punishment, okay? Um, so here we have a continuous reinforcement, which means for every correct response is reinforced. So we're supporting every single correct response. The second one is called a partial reinforcement. So this is where only some responses are reinforced. Uh, so you'll only get a positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement sometimes when you get when you do the correct response. So continuous reinforcement would be um, like every time you do your chores, you get an allowance, you get money, right? And so every time you do the activity, you do your response, you get a reinforcement. Now a partial reinforcement would be like when you're training a dog. You'll uh, only sometimes you'll reinforce them. So only sometimes when you ask them to sit and say shake their paw, sometimes you'll give them a treat and sometimes you won't. Okay, so that's partial reinforcement. So only sometimes you get reinforced. Now we can also talk about it, uh, partial reinforcement. So this is a uh, Again, only some responses are reinforced, so we're going to break that down even more. And a partial reinforcement can either be uh, fixed or it can be variable. Okay, so a fixed partial reinforcement, which means you get reinforced or say your dog gets a treat after a fixed number of responses or a fixed time interval. Okay, so it's a fixed uh, schedule, we'll say. So maybe uh, every five times your dog sits, they get a treat. Okay? Or this could be uh, every five minutes you get a treat. Okay, so that's what a fixed is. We'll go through this a little bit more um, and really break it down so you understand. Now, we also will talk about partial reinforcements as variable. So this would be a reinforcement after, say, an average number of responses or an average number of time passed. In other words, uh, one in five responses will get a response. Now, that could be the very first response out of five. It could be the third response out of five, that kind of thing. And same with passage of time. So during a five minute span, you get reinforced once. Okay, so again, this is going to make a lot more sense in a little bit. So first, we're going to talk about partial reinforcement as either a ratio or an interval. So a ratio is the number of responses. So again, that'd be uh, every five uh, responses or every 10 responses. So that'd be your, your ratio. Interval is the amount of time. So that's uh, within five minutes, within an hour, that kind of thing. Okay. So if we put together our fixed versus variable and our ratio versus interval, what we end up with is either a fixed ratio schedule which is called FR, or a variable ratio schedule. Now, remember, ratio is like a number of responses, and fixed means uh, the same after the same amount of responses. So we have the same number 
schedule. So you get reinforced after a fixed number of responses, so after the same number of responses. So this could be like, um, for instance, I get paid every 10 days. Okay, so every 10 days, I get paid. So that's our schedule is 10 days, and it's always uh, the last of those 10 days. Okay, so day number 10 in my schedule, I get paid. Now, variable ratio would be uh, you get paid at some point uh, within that number of days. So on average, the number of days. Okay, so um, this a variable ratio a lot of times you can think of as gambling. Okay, so you're going to get, uh, you're going to hit jackpot, an average, the keyword here is average, uh, number of times, uh, once every thousand times. Okay, now again, this could be the first time you press the lever, and then the 999 times after you wouldn't get reinforced. Or, uh, it could be you press you press the lever uh, 500 times, you get reinforced on number 500 and 500, and then you don't get reinforced again for that 1,000, or you could get reinforced within that 1,000 on pull number 1,000. Now, if we average out one. 1,000 and 500, our average is going to be about 500. Okay, does that make sense? So our average uh, number of being reinforced is going to be the same. Whereas with fixed ratio, um, then it's a set amount. So for here, for a paper boy, he gets paid after every 50 newspapers handed out. Okay? So he hands out 50 newspapers, he gets paid. Hands out 50 more, he gets paid. So a fixed number uh, of responses, and then he gets reinforced. Now, the other one would be our interval schedule. Now remember, interval is time. So fixed time and variable time. So fixed time would be the correct response after a fixed time interval is reinforced. Now a fixed time interval would be that no matter how many times you do something, uh, you won't get reinforced until that amount of time has elapsed. So a great example is when you're doing laundry. It doesn't matter how many times you open the laundry machine, um, you will not be reinforced with clean clothes until the appropriate amount of time has elapsed for the cycle to complete. Okay? So, or this could be like uh, watching a pot of water boil. It doesn't matter how long you go, how many times you go check on that pot of water, it's going to need a set amount of time to boil. Okay? So that's a fixed interval. You get your response after a certain time interval is reinforced. Now, variable interval schedule would be when you're reinforced for the first correct response after a variable time interval. So this is centered around an average. So again, variable is average, an average time. So, for example, when you're at a bus stop, um, you know, the bus is supposed to come or it comes on average at a certain time of day. Now, sometimes it's a minute or two early, sometimes it's a minute or two late, but on average, it comes at a certain time. So that time is our average. 
Okay, so that would be variable schedule. Now an interval would mean uh, when you go to the bus stop, you know, you can't get on the bus, which is our, uh, which is like the reward, the reinforcement, you can't get on the bus if the bus isn't there. So you can only get on the bus when it is, uh, when it arrives. So that's a variable interval schedule. So the reinforcement of getting on the bus, you can only do it once during this average time period. Outside of that time period, you don't get the reward. Same with fixed interval. You don't get the reward outside of this fixed time frame. Okay, now, how does this relate to learning? Why would you use one of these over another? Right? I bet that's what you're asking yourself. Well, let's look at uh, this graph. So on the x-axis here, we have the amount of time in minutes. So we have 10, 20, 30 minutes, all the way up to 70 minutes. Uh, and then here on the y-axis, we have the cumulative number of responses. So how many times uh, something responds, okay? Now, the first one I want to look at is this red line. This is the fixed ratio. And notice how it looks like a step ladder, okay? Now, for the number of responses, that's what these little ticks are. These are the responses. Um, notice how, or the reinforcement, the reinforcement are in a fixed step-like pattern, right? They're very even, and that's our fixed ratio because it's the amount of responses, so this the height here is what's even between them, okay? So the same number of responses. So let's, let's talk about all of this with our uh, earlier example of a rat that has to press a lever to get food, okay? So let's say the rat has to press the lever 10 times to get food. So that's our fixed ratio. Uh, so it's 10 times they have to press the lever. So press it once, you don't get anything down here, and then on press number 10, they get food. Press it some more on press number 20, they get food. Press it some more. Press number 30. They get food. Now, all of this is about the number of presses. It doesn't matter how long it takes. So this tends to go faster, as you can see, because it's all about the rat. How many times the rat pushes the lever? And he can push it as many times as he wants, as quickly as he wants. So that's a fixed ratio. Now the opposite would be a fixed interval, right? Because an interval is about time. So if we look here again, it looks very even between here. So here we have the uh, amount of time it takes with this green. And again, these tick marks are when they're rewarded. So again, it's even between these tick marks. So that's why it's fixed. But then our interval, you'll see how it takes about 10 minutes. So he gets rewarded once every 10 minutes on the 10 minute mark. So it looks like, or let's say it looks like maybe at 16 minutes, at 26 minutes, at 36 minutes, at 46 minutes. And so this is a fixed amount of time. So every 10 minutes he gets rewarded on the certain time. Okay, now it doesn't matter how often he presses the lever. He could press it a billion times here. So like here you can see he doesn't press a lot and then starts pressing a whole bunch uh, and he gets rewarded. And then again, he's not pressing too often and then he starts pressing a lot. Now it doesn't matter how many times he presses the lever. What matters is the amount of time. Okay, so that's the difference between a fixed ratio and a fixed interval. Now, the other ones would be a variable ratio, which again is about the number of times you press the lever, not about time. And then interval ratio is about the amount of time. Okay? So if we look on average here, so if we kind of cut, I'm going to draw, if we kind of cut 
here and here and here and here. So this is, say, the number of times that they press the lever. These are kind of even-ish. And you can see within each of these boxes I made, there is one reward. Now, sometimes it's at the beginning of my box I made. Sometimes it's at the end. Sometimes it's in the middle. But it's about the average number of times. So on average, for every, say, 100 presses of the lever, somewhere within that, you'll get rewarded once. Okay, it might be the first time in 100, it might be the last time in 100, it might be number 50 out of 100. And so that's a variable ratio. It's about the average number of times. And now we can do that again with our variable interval, where we draw a line here, maybe about there, and there, and there, and right in between there. And another one there. And again, so these time periods, which are maybe, let's say, 5 or 10 minutes, the time periods are going to be the same. So this is 5 minutes. This is 5 minutes. This is 5 minutes. So every 5 minutes, you get one reward. Now that reward, again, can be at the end of the 5 minutes, the beginning of the 5 minutes, in the middle, maybe this is minute 2. This could be minute three, and then we've got minute five, minute one again, minute one again. You don't know at what point during these five minutes you'll be rewarded, but you know that there will be a reward. Okay, so that's variable interval. So again, it's an average. Variable is average. Now, again, how do you pick which schedule you want? So here's a great example. So we've got that Joel is not too keen on gambling. Well, when he sits with his grandmother at the casino, he decides to just kind of like randomly put some coins into a slot machine. On his last coin, the machine lights up and he wins $10. Since he now has more than he started with, he decides to stick, keep playing. So stopping is difficult because the next playout can come at any time. Now, what kind of schedule is this? Okay, so let's see. We've got, uh, it can come at any time. Um, let's see, so he puts in his last coin, he puts in a few coins, and he keeps going. So which one is this? Now, if you remember, we talked about this, that gambling, especially at a slot, is a variable ratio because it's about the average number of responses. So it's the number of coins he puts in and then an average. So on average, a coin machine might be every 1,000 coins put in will get a win. So he was lucky to get this, but he'd have to put a lot more money back in to win again. So the answer to this is a variable ratio. Okay. So what's the best form of reinforcement? So we've got that continuous reinforcement. So that's being reinforced every single time you make a response. Now, continuous reinforcement um, is good if you want to learn really quickly. Um, it's also easier to see what the consequences are. You can see the outcomes a lot quicker. Um, however, we also see that extinction will happen a lot quicker as soon as you remove that reinforcement. So as soon as you uh, remove our reinforcement, um, so if I stop getting paid every single time I do my chores, I'm going to pretty quickly stop doing my chores because now why would I bother, you know? Um, however, if we look at a partial reinforcement, so remember, partial reinforcement is what we broke down into those four separate schedules. Um, so partial reinforcement tends to be a bit of a slower learning curve, so we tend to learn slower. However, we're more resilient to extinction. In other words, we're less likely to stop doing a given behavior when the response is taken away because we are used to 
responding sometimes and not getting reinforced. So no longer being reinforced isn't as big of a difference. Now, if you want to know the absolute best schedule of reinforcement, it is a uh, variable ratio. So like, like the slot machines, um, that is the best version of reinforcement to avoid extinction. Okay, because again, you get rewarded sometimes, but you can't predict when you'll be rewarded. So extinction, again, is when you remove uh, the reinforcement and then the behavior slowly goes away. Well, with the R schedule, then you're used to not being reinforced. You're used to not knowing if a reinforcement is even going to come, but you have learned to keep doing that behavior. So this is the best type of uh, reinforcement, the best schedule. Now that's where we're going to end uh, for this lecture, and we only have one more lecture on Chapter 6.